Oh my god, 300 subscribers! What's up, people? Okay, so this is something that I promised to my subscribers a while ago, and I kept pushing it off and pushing it off and procrastinating for whatever reason, one reason or another. So now it's January, I'm not really doing that much, and I just hit 300 subscribers, so I'm like, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. And I have a lot of fun making my videos, because I love talking about movies and shit. And I want to thank all 300 of you for taking time out of your day to listen. And sometimes when I'm shooting these videos, there'll be a take where I mess up my speech, or I say a wrong word by accident. So this gag reel is comprised of all those takes from several videos that I made for you guys. And so, without further ado, enjoy. The Hunger Games- <clears throat> Let's try that again. And now for the premise. Tony Stark is out in Afghanistan somewhere demonstrating. And now for the premise. Tony Stark is out in Afghanistan doing a weapon- weapon- I can't talk. And what's missing? The feels. That this movie delivers. So in this movie we have Zack, he moves in- <clears throat> Does anyone want it? You know how Lucy would hold down the football and he would... And, and the symbol behind her you see here, if you read it... And as always, this ho <clears throat> And as always, the holiday season always starts off... Nope. One more time. I need to see some... I need to see some more of the stuff... <clears throat> I need to see more of the stuff he's been in because the only thing I have... And the guy is a genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. And the guy is a genius billionaire playboy philanthropist. But there are little hints of Blue Sky Studios in there. Blue Sky Studios being, being, damn it. The all-star cast in this movie really, really shined. Shown. And the movie comes out like a year from now, so I'll... You look like Freddy Krueger face fu You look like Freddy Krueger face fucked a topographical map of Utah. That takes him to this weird alternate dimension. There's a scene where he's talking with T.J. Miller and Timmy, and apparently the suitcase that the wizard was carrying. But there are little hints of blue size, blue size. Oh my god! It's and the score to this movie was great. And at the end of, the I know some of you be so it's like these two stories are paralleling. So the main character in this movie is played by Dylan Minnette. I know him as because you can tell that there's that spark between them, but neither of them are one. But don't worry, there is classic ju ju yeah. So part two picks up immediately right where Mar- Jesse Eisenberg does a really good job of using objects as weapons. I'm not gonna spoil how, but he just- just tri And apparently this suitcase that the man was carrying was full of magical creatures. Oops. And they're both relatable, they're organic, they're human, they have- Let's try that again. The main character in this movie is played by Dylan Minnette. I know him as Donnie Gill from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. He was also in that one movie, Alexander and the Horrible Bad Day, that I never saw. No. That was a perfectly good take. Come on. Like three quarters of the way, dude. And I actually think I'm one of the few people who left who actually... Stuff that'll make you... Which is a... <clears throat> that far as... You see what I did there? And that's another thing. I mean, this is classic Peanuts in every way, shape, and form, but there is a little bit of hint I can't really say that about this movie because I already have the cliche fun Halloween movies that I watch every year and I love and I, yeah, and I ear, and I ear them. And I actually really like watching these, and I actually really like watching this relationship that there's two. So when our brand is crisis, a Bolivian... Actually, scratch that. Yeah. It's not really easy making these videos all the time. I hope you enjoyed my gag reel, and I once again want to thank all 300 of you for subscribing to my channel. I will continue to make videos for you guys. So since I really can't think of a question to ask you guys, if there's anything you want to tell me, like the time you first subscribed to me, how you found me or whatever, then go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.